I didn't think it polite to listen, sir. <laughs> I'm sorry for that, for your sake. I don't play accurately. Anyone can play accurately. Oh, that must be on to Gusta. Only relatives or creditors ever ring in that Vognarian manner. <laughs> now, 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 boy. If I get her out of the way for 10 minutes so that you may have an opportunity to propose to Gwendolyn, May I dine with you tonight at the Savoy? Oh, I suppose so, if you want to. Yes, but you must be serious about it. I hate it when people aren't serious about meals. It is so shallow of them. Good afternoon, dear Hausman. I hope you are behaving very well. I'm feeling very well, Aunt Augusta. That's not quite the same thing. <laughs> In fact, the two things rarely go together. <laughs> Dear me, you are smart. I am always smart. Am I not, Mr. Worthy? You, you are quite perfect, Miss Fairfax. Oh, I hope I'm not that. Prison, where is that baby? <laughs> 28 years ago, Prism, you left Lord Bracknell's house, 104 Grosvenor Street, in charge of a perambulator that held the baby of a male sex. You never returned. A few weeks later, through the elaborate investigations of the Metropolitan Police, the perambulator was discovered at midnight, standing by itself in a remote corner of Bayswater. It contained a manuscript of a three-volume novel of more than usually revolting sentimentality. <laughs> But the baby was not there. Prism, where is that baby? This Prism! Is this the handbag? Oh, please. Examine it carefully. The happiness of more than one life depends upon your answer. It appears to be mine. Here is the injury it received through the upsetting of a Gower Street omnibus in younger and happier days. Is the stain on the lining caused by the explosion of a temperance beverage, an incident that happened in Limington. And here, on the lock, are my initials. I had forgotten that in an extravagant mood I had had them placed there. The bag is undoubtedly mine. I am delighted to have it so unexpectedly restored to me. Oh, it has been quite an inconvenience being without it all these years. <laughs> Miss Prism. More is restored to you than that handbag. I was the baby you left in it. You? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mother! I am unmarried. <laughs> unmarried? Well, I do not deny that is a serious blow. <laughs> However, 